The Grinch Meets His Max by Antonia D. Bryan. The Grinch had an itch. He tried to scratch, but he could not reach the itchy patch. The itch, it tickled. The itch was ouchy. It made the Grinch feel very grouchy. It itched him when he tried to eat. It itched him when he went to sleep. It itched him when the snow was snowy. It itched him when the wind was blowy. It itched him when the rain was wet. It itched him when the sun had set. It made him frown. It made him roar. He kicked his foot right through the door. The Grinch yelled, ouch, and grabbed his toes. Then, through the hole, there poked a nose. Into the house there came a pup. He gave a yap and jumped right up. He cocked his head and wagged his tail. The Grinch let out an awful wail. Get out, you pup, why can't you see? I'm not your friend, your friend's not me. I don't like nice, I don't like funny. I don't want food, I don't want money. And if people want to come and chat, I tell them no. And that is that. The Grinch sat down to scratch some more, but once again, he heard the door. The pup was jumping just outside. His paws were up, his eyes were wide, his tail was wagging quick as quick, and in his mouth, he held a stick. Oh no, the Grinch yelled. Listen, beast, I do not like you in the least. I do not like kids, I do not like rides. I don't like cakes with pink insides. When rainbows come, I shut my eyes. There's nothing worse than a surprise. Parades just make me run away. And most of all, I hate to play. He turned around and slammed the door and then sat down to scratch some more. And as he scratched, that Grinch began to formulate an awful plan. He wants to fetch. I'll throw that stick so far he won't get back so quick. He tiptoed out into the yard and found some ground that wasn't hard. And there, much faster than a mole, the Grinch began to dig a hole. He dug that hole deep as could be, as deep as sea, deep as the sea. It did not stop, it just went on to hither, thither, there and yon, to upper milf and lower milf, until it came out of the gulf of Zichazulf, almost as far as halfway to the nearest star. Hey pup, he called, I'm ready, come. I've got a game that's really fun. The pup came running quick as quick. He brought the Grinch his favorite stick. The Grinch said, fetch it. Go, go, go! He tossed the stick down low, low, low. The pup looked down. He raised one ear, then made a jump and disappeared. He went so deep into the dark, you could not even hear him bark. Yes, cried the Grinch, and without a hitch, off he went to scratch his itch. He tried to reach it with a spoon. He even tried a fat balloon. He tried to reach it with a fan. He tried to with the frying pan. He tried to reach it with the rod and with the reel and with a cod. He tried to reach it with the boot. He even tried three kinds of fruit. He tried to standing on his head. He tried to lying in his bed. He tried to on a trampoline and with the bright green itch machine. He tried and tried and tried and tried until he just sat down and cried. Then all at once he heard a sound and when he turned to look around, the dog was standing at the door just as happy as before. Messy, dirty, tired and hot, but back again, no matter what. Through mof and milf, through thin and thick, the dog had come back with his stick. Drat!
cried the Grinch. It just can't be. That pup still wants to play with me. I'll shut my eyes until I turn green. He'll see that I am mad and mean and bad and nasty to the core. And then he'll go away for sure. Once more, the Grinch began to scratch. The pup was ready to play catch. The Grinch began to twist and turn and wiggle like a squiggly worm. The pup looked up and passed the stick, trotted over quick as quick. And then he raised his two front paws and scratched that itch with nice sharp claws. Then all at once, the Grinch felt strange. Was something new? Had something changed? The pup had found what he could not, that prickly, tickly, itchy spot. And now the Grinch was not so itchy. Somehow, he didn't feel so gritchy. He cried, hooray, the itch is found. I think you'd better stick around until I'm sure that it is over. And while you're here, I'll call you Rover. The pup looked sad. He turned away and wandered off the other way. Wait, yelled the Grinch. Wait, Fido, Spot, or Bingo Bongo, Bonzo Blot. I'll call you any name you wish if you will stay to scratch my itch. The pup turned back and raised his head. The Grinch could see a collar, red. And there he saw in letters bold, this short word, Max made out of gold. And from that time, no one knows why, the Grinch's Max stayed right nearby. The pup who'd gone through milf and muff, who'd come back from the awful gulf, stained by the Grinch, that grumpy grouse, and scratched his back and shared his house. And that's the end. Thanks for listening to Chomp Stories.